surgery and my wife's not feeling real well. I was half asleep then all of a sudden there was an impact like a bomb going off. Everybody got jerked forward. Everybody started complaining. Nobody knew what was going on. Uh, start smelling like diesel fuel. A few people said, you know, if the bus is on fire, I'm getting out. But we're in traffic lanes. So I said, you're safer in the bus if there's no fire, because you've got traffic on both sides, so it's better just to stay on the bus. Where, so, where are you headed, sir? We were coming back from San Manuel and uh, going into Palmdale. Do you guys all live in Palmdale? or Most of us in Palmdale, Lancaster, myself and my wife, Acton. Okay, how's your wife? Is she doing okay? Uh, we're going to go as soon as we get transported, because we have nobody to pick us up. Okay. From, uh, they're gonna get us back to Palmdale, then we're gonna go to Kaiser to urgent care, get checked out. Okay. And what's your name, sir? My name's Gerard, G I R A R D. G I R A R D. And your last name? Cohen, C O H E N. C O H E N. So, when you, you said you were asleep and you were woken by the, by by the, the impact. impact, did you fall out of your seat or was it kind no, of. No, this. I don't think anybody fell out of their seats, but everybody got jerked forward complaining about back and neck injuries. There was a few people, like there's one lady on there on board, she's running out of oxygen, and the fire department is now trying to uh, do you know about on oxygen many, now. Do you know about how many passengers? 44. 44. Do you know how many were injured by any chance? I'd say 44. Everybody's complaining. Yeah, okay. So there's, I don't know, I, two are definitely going to the hospital, but they, I guess, have transport back. We have none. Yeah. Well, best of luck to you, George. Thank Gerard. George. You weren't very stars. He goes, well, I want you to make sure she works. 